Hey there! I came across a beautiful pen in a, an office supply store in Amsterdam. It was an expensive pen, and you can really figure out the price of this one online, um, but I got it 50% off, because they wanted to get rid of it, and that really made a big difference. Um, for the money I saved, I could buy another pen. So, um, forgive me for not going into price, but I don't always want to mention prices of pens. I buy these pens myself, and I don't always need to share how much I spend on pens, I think. So, this is the box. Now, this is a giant box. This is huge. So, if a pen comes in that box, you can figure out that it's not a cheap one. It has a little pop button there, which you push, and then a seal is broken, and here you have the Pelican pen. Now, this is a special pen. I'm going to take it out. I'm disassembling the box here. It comes with a giant booklet. This is probably the biggest one I've ever seen in a pen box. Very colorful, very nice, um, well done, multilingual. I think this is a very cool. Uh, they really, you know, paid attention to to what they give out here. Um, so I, I really, really very much enjoy it. Uh, beautiful, well done. Uh, I'm just I'm just leafing through it because it's extremely uh, uh, engaging. It's well made. Okay, putting that down, here's the pen. And this pen is a special Pelican. Uh, this is not one of the regular editions. This was only available for a limited amount of time. And this is the Majesty. And everything here that looks silvery is actually sterling silver, 92.5% silver, uh, making it a very special pen because usually the pelicans are resin, it looks nice, but this is a whole different ballgame. You can feel it. Very heavy, very nice. Okay, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. So here we have the pelican logo executed very nicely. I really like that black. We have the pelican clip, which looks like a pelican bill. Doesn't really pop up a little bit. Usually, it's another pelican model. Usually, they, they pop up a little bit there. This one is, is flatter. And you have this black cap. And a nice detail here is on the band there. That's a Jugendstil motif uh, that is also on the, um, uh, the pelican factory. OK, then you have Pelican. Germany on the center band and it says that it's silver 92.5 percent. You have the bell nice fluted design and then you have the end cap and when I held it for the first time I thought that doesn't turn is this a cartridge converter filled pelican? It's not. I'll show you in a second. The cap unscrews can be a little tight to unscrew but it does unscrew and then you have this section, which is definitely a long section, as you can see, it's elongated. And then you have the nib, which definitely has a somewhat different shape from most pelican nibs. This is a medium 18 karat 575. You've got the feed and the nib. I really enjoyed the shape of this feed. As I said, very different. It required a little bit of wood. I found it a little bit skippy, and I found it a little bit dry to my liking. Of course, at a price point like this, it should be perfect. But it had been in the store for a long time. I think it was dipped a number of times. I think it required a good cleaning, but still it required a little bit of tuning. And that's not too great. Okay, now how does this filling system work? Watch this. The sterling barrel unscrews, and this in itself is very heavy. And here you have the regular piston filler. It's not a it's not a converter, it's built into the pen, you cannot remove this, and if you've ever seen a pelican on the inside, this is their piston. It's just a piston built into the pen. I think it's very cool, you have the turning knob there. Um, now it doesn't say whether that is silver too. I have no trouble believing that it is, but I have no trouble believing it's another material either. In any case, a very cool design, and as someone pointed out, you could even use it like that, because it, it's it's fascinating enough to be used like that. The barrel pops back in place. You screw it, it clicks. 
very satisfying click and then you just screw it in place and you're done cool okay what do I like about it what do I not like about it I love this section that's really something I fell in love with very comfortable yes it's metal and yes it will get a little slippery for longer writing sessions if your fingers sweat a little bit you will feel that it, it it's a bit slippery and can rotate a little bit however I have found the shape and I'll show you that again and close up I found the shape to be very comfortable it's a little narrow and given the size of my hands I would have preferred a somewhat wider section but because it's so long you can even hold a little bit more highly uh, the threads are on the sharp side so I would probably really recommend people to hold it where it's supposed to be held but there is a part there too and you could even hold it there then you're holding it at a very high uh, point on the pen but I can write with it like this if I really have to so that's a nice thing I really love the filling system yes I know it's just a piston filler but the length Pelican went through to de develop develop a barrel that is a sleeve that just slips over the mechanism I think that's very cool because that eliminates the issue of creating a turning knob here uh, that is separated from the silver it is one piece of uh, silver that I think that's that's very very cool works well I've had no issues with uh, filling it and I have not had a mess or anything so it, it really works well things I don't like so much well it's a heavy pen and I like a heavy pen but this one is really heavy and with the way it's built there's quite some uh, weight at the end because bear in mind this is all metal too so even without the sleeve it's already a bit top heavy if you add the sleeve it adds a lot of material and it really becomes heavy and this is a pen that even though it's not super large uh, I would say it's about M800 size if you post this it becomes almost unusable super heavy because the cap in itself is very heavy because that's silver too so interesting ultra heavy pen this is a pen you could give a colleague if you want to impress them and say oh you know sign this contract etc very fascinating I love it I think this is a very very cool find especially at 50% off a relatively considerable price I would say uh, making this much more affordable even then it was not cheap but for me this pen is definitely worth it so if you find it online see if you can get a deal and I would say this uh, that makes it a very very interesting thing to find now let's take a couple of measurements before I do what is most important and that's the writing sample now, as I said it's not a huge pen 134.7 millimeters capped or 5.3 inches uh, I'm not going to measure this one posted because I don't think anyone will really enjoy using this posted um, I have 4.96 inches or 126 millimeters unposted section diameter ranges from 9.3 millimeters or 0.36 of an inch to 11.7 or 0.46 of an inch and this is really uh, right above the threads because I don't think a lot of people are going to hold it there barrel diameter is half an inch or 12.8 millimeters and just for the sake of it I'll also measure the diameter of the uh, filling mechanism 10.7 millimeters or 0.42 of an inch now I'm going to put that on the scale you have seen it's pretty much uninked and I have 58 grams a significantly heavy pen all right I hope this was useful let's look at the writing sample and I'll gladly see you later bye bye all right here we go with whoops it's a little tight as he said this is the pelican seven thousand five and this is also known as the majesty the ink is Mont Blanc oyster gray really yes really let's do some writing that was a very strange W I apologize very nice nib keeps up well let's do some fast writing 
It is a medium nib. It even sings a little, but as you can see, the ink flow keeps up very well. Now, this nib was tuned a little bit by me because I found it a little dry when it came out of the factory, but as you can see, it wasn't very difficult and the result is uh, just the way I like it. Okay, as to wetness, as I said, I altered that a little bit, but I like the way it writes now. Line variation. As you can see, you can squeeze some out. Uh, it is an 18K nib. And you can definitely squeeze out some line variation. For those of you who like reverse writing, it's possible and it's actually pretty smooth when you go from medium to extra fine, I would say. So, there you have it. Pelican Majestic. Sorry, Majesty, although it is also majestic. Um, I hope this was useful, and I gladly see you later. Bye-bye.